Hi, I'm Abba Shapiro, and welcome to Filter Friday. Today, we're gonna to use a simple egg to show you how easy it is to use Luminar's looks and filters. One of the best features of Luminar is that you can use looks to quickly develop and stylize an image. For instance, when I click on the AI Image Enhancer, it'll apply a variety of filters to my image and automatically make it look better. Now, there's a whole bunch of great looks in our Essentials Looks collection. Everything from creating a classic black and white image from your photos, to creating that really cool, soft and airy look that everybody's using. And I like the fact that I can just click on this look, it applies it to my picture, and even if it doesn't work exactly how I want, I know that I can either adjust it with one of the sliders directly below in the looks collection, or any of the individual filters within that look. So for instance, if I want it to be a little softer and maybe airier, all I have to do is scroll down to the bottom to the details enhancer and slide the details to the left, which is gonna make it even softer and airier. And if it can make an egg look this good, imagine what it can do to a landscape or a portrait. Now let's check out some of the Luminar looks that you can download from our website. There's an entire set of Luminar looks on just tonality that you can download from the website. Some of my favorites are inside of Tonality Dramatic. Let's take a peek. Now what I really like about using looks is that at the bottom of the interface, I can see exactly what's gonna happen to my image when I click on that look. I really like this look of ethereal. It's giving me a really cool black and white egg. With a simple click, I now have an egg that's really rocking, or specifically an egg that looks like a rock. Now let's take a look at just applying a single filter to this egg. To add a filter, it's as simple as clicking on the Add Filter button, which opens up the filter catalog. And let's go ahead and apply the Accent AI filter. Now what's really cool about this filter is that with a single slider, I can make my egg look great. It uses artificial intelligence to quickly fix the exposure and contrast and color, all with a single slider. But the bottom line is I can make an image look great without having to do all that work that I would have had to do with a whole bunch of different filters. I'm going to undo that and that's simply Control Z in Windows or Command Z on a Mac. And now let's apply the black and white conversion filter. Now black and white is more than just desaturating an image. The black and white conversion filter lets you control the black and white levels by adjusting how much of each color is used to create its monochromatic style, or basically the way the black and white looks. And what's really nice is I can step through these different color filters that one would have put in front of an enlarger back in the old days of film and see how it affects the look of my egg. And if I wanted to go even deeper, I can go ahead and I can start moving these sliders the red and the yellow and the green sliders. And again, as I move each of these, it'll use different elements of the original color of the egg and its background to modify the way the black and white looks. Let's go ahead and remove that filter. I'm gonna simply click on the filter's name and hit delete. The structure slider can be used to enhance like clarity and sharpness when moved to the right. But what's really cool is if you move it to the left, it actually softens your image. I'm gonna move the softness slider to the right and you can see it really softens this image. And if it works as well in an egg, imagine what it can do to skin. Let's go ahead and delete that filter. Now we're gonna apply the photo filter, which is really cool because it lets you modify hue and saturation of your image. The photo filter is located towards the bottom of the filters catalog underneath professional. And all I have to do is move the amount slider to the right and that adds color to my image. And then I can run through the hue slider and change the color of my egg really quickly until I find just the perfect color that I like. Once again, let's go ahead and delete that filter. And finally, I wanna show you bicolor toning. Now, if you can't find a filter, but you know its name, or even part of its name, all you need to do is start typing the name of the filter. And as you can see, right there is bicolor toning. Let me go ahead and apply that. And as I said before, this is great for landscapes and seascapes, but all I have to do is move that slider to the right 
and we can see that the toning is applied differently to the top of the egg than the bottom of the egg. And there's a whole bunch of presets in here that I can step through so I can go cold and warm, which is great for landscapes. And if I want to change the color, all I have to do is click on it, go to my eyedropper, move it around to where I want. I think that's great. And there we go, my bicolored toned egg. One of my favorite secret filters, well, it's not such a secret, but it's textures overlay. It's really cool because you can overlay any kind of a pattern or even uh, another image on top of your egg. So let's go ahead, we'll add the texture overlay. And I'm going to now load one of my textures and all I have to do is click load texture, search through Explorer or through my finder, find the image I want. I'm gonna use this image, this red stripes image and simply say open and it lays it on top of the egg. Of course, I can leave it this way and just control the amount of opacity between the egg and the texture. But what's really cool is that all of the filters have blending modes. So if I go to the drop down menu next to the name of the filter, I can go to something called blend and there's lots of different ways that Luminar can interpret the way the light is on the top image and the bottom image. And I can just simply move my mouse over it. I don't even have to select it to see how it affects the egg. And you'll notice that Color Burn does a really cool job because what it does is it just puts the color of that texture overlay on top of my egg. The another one that works really well is the just overlay in the texture overlay. And you notice there's a stylistically a little bit of a difference. I'm gonna go ahead with Color Burn. I like that. It makes it look a little bit more like a dinosaur egg. And another thing you can do is you can actually control the amount of the opacity to see how strong you want that texture overlay to affect your image. Now let's take this to the next level. Instead of using this texture, I'm going to load a photo. I actually have a cityscape of Shanghai and I'm going to use that instead. And you can see I can switch that out very easily and I get a really cool look. Now I can scale this image back. If I bring this to a uh, hundred percent, you can really see the cityscape and I'm going to just zoom this back so you can see more of the buildings. And I really like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull down the amount here. I like the way this egg looks, but I want to show you one more trick. I'm going to add a couple more filters. I'm going to add a black and white conversion filter. And if I do that and I add it, of course it's going to be added at the very end of the list. And I don't necessarily want a black and white egg. This would be great for a retro, maybe 1930s egg, but I want to have some color. And I can grab the black and white conversion filter and just move it right above the texture overlay. So what's gonna happen now is the egg has become black and white. You can see that if I turn off the little eyeball to the right. So now I've made the egg black and white and I have the color from the overlaid image now much more vibrant. Now, again, I think this looks a little too aged, so I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna smooth it out. I'm gonna add a structure filter and we've seen before that you can take structure and move it to the right to add more structure to an image, but instead I'm gonna move it to the left to soften the image, okay? So now everything is softer, including my photo of Shanghai. And I don't want that. So once again, I'm simply gonna grab structure and move that above the texture overlay filter. So now I'm softening the speckles on the eggs, but I'm not softening the crispness of my overlay. Now I've played with a bunch of different filters and looks on my eggs. I'm gonna go back to the top of my library. And to do that, all I had to do was hit the G key, G as in gallery. And you can see all the different looks that I've gotten from a single egg. So what I want you to do is throw an egg into your Luminar library and play with some of the Luminar looks and filters, and you'll be amazed at what you can create. I'm Abba Shapiro, and thanks for watching.